Okay, here we are, come here. Um, here we are, um, presenting Jeroen Taverne. Yes. It's the first hi. time, uh, sorry. Hello, hi. Uh, it's the first time uh, we've got you here. Uh, I think you've never been in a, in a meeting before, uh, That's at correct. least as yes. an exhibitor. Uh, Maybe it's a... No, yeah, about uh, two years ago I uh, had a desk here. Ah, you had a desk. I, yeah. I did not notice you, I'm ah. afraid. Okay, <laughs> I was uh, selling the, the keyboard interfaces. Ah, and, uh, okay. Yeah. So, but now you have made uh, quite uh, a leap, uh, we could say, uh, presenting your yeah. your new device. The Let me make an introduction. Last, uh, at Goto 40, after Goto 40, came to me uh, Xavi, uh, Xavi Rompe, the, the one that made the uh, Rookie Drive, told me, I have talked with a guy showing me something that runs on a uh, Raspberry Pico. Yes, correct. And telling me it's really, really crazy what you can do. And I, I asked him, uh, who's the name of this guy? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I had a small chat with him, uh, indeed, mm -hmm. yeah. But you but left uh, him nice really... Nice he remembers. You left him really, really impressed. Uh, so, here we have your uh, the piece, this piece that is the Raspberry Pico. Well, it's a Raspberry Pico, we call, you, you yes. call it M6 Pico. Yeah. The uh, usually, uh, you would say uh, it's the, the usual so to say, the, 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 the usual multi, um, multi cartridge that does a lot of things, but yeah. it's not just that. T t tell us, uh, what can M6 Pico can do? Uh, M6 Pico is a, a cartridge uh, which has uh, multiple uh, uh, emulations inside uh, of uh, uh, sound chips. It can actually uh, emulate two PSGs uh, an SSC plus and um, well it now also supports uh, FM pack emulation so that's mm -hmm. the uh, MSX music uh, standard okay yeah furthermore it has an SD card slot uh, where you can load uh, games from if you want ROM files disk files uh, but it's also capable of uh, of uh, running uh, next door and um, yeah then you can just your do Use your normal uh, uh, tools that you uh, can also, for instance, do uh, with the Carney 4 uh, mm -hmm. 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the most of it, but here the difference is that Carnivore, uh, Mega Flash ROM, uh, Flash Jacks, and so on, yes. use an FPGA. Yeah, very you you use big. Well, uh, Carney 4 2 has a big, big FPGA in there. Uh, I don't have any. Programmable logic in here. It's it's all uh, handled by software inside uh, Raspberry Pi Pico clone. It's a clone because uh, the standard Raspberry Pi Pico only has uh, two megabytes of flash, and the clone has 16 megabytes of flash. Okay. So, yeah. Now that's a hell. Uh, uh, and and then one wonders. Uh, so here the difference is quite radical. Um, you do not you uh, you go by via software. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, using an MSC, uh, a, a, a Pico, using a Pico, then uh, what's uh, wh what's the difference? I mean, what what you can do, what you cannot do here. Uh, the the. Yeah, the main f uh, big factor is that uh, uh, FPGA is quite limited uh, uh, by space, uh, so, and um, yeah, if you if you uh, run your uh, uh, emulations of, of of for instance uh, an FM pack, uh, yeah, you can easily add extra stuff in there. Um, basically, you can add whatever you want. Uh, as long as the performance is uh, is reached by the mm -hmm. the onboard uh, microcontroller, uh -huh. and could it work as a ROM? I mean, you can store a, a game of eight, not uh, not using it as a ROM flash or, so, or a flash ROM, but uh, using it as a ROM. Is it possible? Yeah, there are multiple ROMs emulated in there. Actually, uh, of course, you have the next store ROM is mm -hmm. in there. Uh, there's a Turbo Basic I added. That's a small ROM file. Um, 
uh, does a floppy disk emulation, which is also a ROM file. Uh, furthermore, uh, a big part of the internal flash is used by uh, a lot of games which are actually programmed in there. So you mm. don't need any SD card to uh, execute a lot of games which are just okay. so sitting in there. Okay, yeah. okay. So uh, you, you turn off the computer, yeah. take it and uh, place it again without yeah. any SD and then yeah. you get uh, you still have the game there. Yeah, you don't have to load anything. You just get a menu on your screen. You, you select whatever you want. You press the button and it starts. And, and, and it could be 2 megabytes, 4 megabytes, 8 uh, megabytes. It can go up to uh, uh, 15 megabytes 15. The, the, the game. Yeah. Okay. That's quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's indeed. I think uh, because this this could uh, open uh, a way because a uh, 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 Raspberry Pi uh, uh, Raspberry Pico, how much expensive is it? I mean, imagine making a, 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 a cartridge for uh, playing games uh, stored in the, in the ROM of um, of yeah. the Pico. Yeah, how uh, could be a, a way to make uh, cheaper cartridges? Yeah, that's what was my whole goal to make a affordable cartridge, which is also uh, available. Mm -hmm. Uh, for instance, the Carney 4.2, uh, yeah, you you have to pay a lot of money for it, and it's often not available. <laughs> and if it gets available, uh, yeah, you can order uh, maybe five pieces, and then it's out of stock again. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. At, at the moment, Raspberry Pico is not running out of stock. No, there's a lot of uh, a lot of them available, and uh, maybe there will become a newer version uh, in the future. Then. It <laughs> gives more possibilities. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. And uh, what do you think uh, you can add? Uh, do you have any plans to add things in the cartridge? Uh, uh. I want to add multi-disc uh, support. So if a game asks for uh, please enter disc two, then you can just uh, say uh, no, press a key combination mm -hmm. on your keyboard, and then the the, the, the game uh, thinks okay, number di disc two is inserted. Okay. Okay, yeah. uh, and things like say music module or something like that. Yeah, maybe maybe at some point MSX audio. Uh -huh. Maybe only the FM part. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the, the, the ADPCM part is a bit difficult. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's the, that's the problem of the audio. Yeah, <laughs> and it also takes RAM. And uh, currently, um, yeah, there is a lot of RAM available. Mm -hmm. But I'm also uh, giving it back to the MSX computer. Mm -hmm. So you get extra RAM when you insert this cartridge. Mm -hmm. And do you have any other project in mind or something? Uh, for the... Uh, no, no, for uh, MSX so Pico? Something or different than MSX yeah. Pico, you mean? Yeah. Um, not at the moment. But, uh, okay. No. So it's a secret. I was... Yeah, maybe at some point... Yeah, it has a USB connector. Mm -hmm. so at some point, maybe, maybe connect a keyboard to it, for instance. Okay. So you can just uh, replace your keyboard with this cartridge. Mm, could be nice. Yeah. Uh, one question: Can you open it? Yeah, I'll uh, take I my handle. screwdriver. Ah, thank you. Ne never get home without a screwdriver. Always take your screwdriver with you. You cannot uh, go outside without your screwdriver. <laughs> Safe word. Uh, very wise words. <laughs>
Uh, there's RGB LED on there. I use this for uh, showing uh, volume level, but also if there's uh, SD card access. So we have the SD card slot here. Mm -hmm. And this is off the shelf uh, board, uh, which converts uh, digital signals to audio. Yeah. I see. And what about using the standard SD card um, slot? Is it possible? Uh, how do you mean? Uh, no, the standard SD card, the, the big one, not the, not the micro. How do you want the big big slot on there? Yeah, it's, it's it's currently not possible because you see there's no room for it. Okay. <laughs> now this board takes some room. Mm -hmm. This board takes some room, and there was just enough room uh, to add this micro SD card slot. I see. I see. Then, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for your time. And I hope um, and I, ho uh, I wish you a lot of, a lo uh, lot of success going, going with this and I hope uh, everybody can, uh, can enjoy your, your device any, uh, at, any, uh, at any moment, uh, for instance for making games. I hope to see you next time. Well, well, we can talk about this. Maybe, uh, maybe earlier. Yeah, you are. You are right. Okay. Thank you very much. See you.